Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you people so today we are going to study about old english literature so here are these uh, table of contents britain england english oral origins and conversion adam weed cadman these were actually a uh, full northumbria and the dream of the road heroic poetry alfred beowulf and it is overview the angles and saxons conquered what is now called england in the 5th and 6th century in the 7th century christian one of missionaries uh, taught the english to write the english wrote down the law codes and later their poems northumbria soon produced cadman in deed heroic poetry of christian kind is the chief legacy of old english literature notably beowulf and the elegy britain england english The cliffs at Dover were often the first of Britain seen by early incomers and have become a familiar symbol of England and of the fact that England is on an island. These cliffs are part of what the Romans from as early as the second century had called the Saxon shore. The southeastern shores of Britain were often raided by the Saxons. The Romans left the Britain after four centuries of occupation early in the fifth century. So, uh, students, please pardon me for all these uh, spelling mistakes because I typed. So, uh, there are certain errors. So, I am dictating. So, you can just make your notes according to my voice, listening to my voice. Later in that century, in the uh, the Angles and Saxons took over the lion's share of the T H E, the island of Britain. By 700, they had occupied, occupied I E D. the parts of green great uh, britain which the romans had made part of the empire that part later became known as engelland the land of the angles and its language was to become english oral origins and conversions so we know that literature is written language human settlements in britain as elsewhere preceded recorded history by millennia and the english poetry preceded writing by some generations the great poems that could conceivably be called english were the songs that might have been heard from the boat crossing c r o w s i n g crossing the narrow seas to the saxon shore to conquer britannia it would be a mistake to think that oral poetry would be inartistic the germanic oral poetry which survives from the end of the roman empire found its writings from austria to ireland has a common form technique and common like repertoire oral poetry was an art which w h i c h which had evolved over generations an art of memorable speech it dealt with the heroic themes in a common metrical form and had evolved to a point where its audience appreciated as richly r i c h l y richly varied style and storytelling technique in these technical respects as well as in its heroic preoccupation the english poetry resembles homeric poetry as the versions of compositions that were originally oral these poems are the same kind as the poems of homer as it less monumental and less central to later literature this as the orally composed poetry of the anglo-saxons was an established art so the roman missionaries were highly literate the ecclesiastical history of english for people makes it clear that the evangelists sent by pope gregory's own monastery in rome English literature is both literature in England and the literature of England. In the 6th century, England became a state with its own national church. Before this, English was not only the most important of the languages spoken by the educated and the royalty. R O Y E L T Y royalty went to the local lord and church rather than to the state. Art historians use it as insular to characterize British art of this period. Insular art is distinctive but of mixed origins, Celtic, Mediterranean, and Germanic. This Celtic quality of early English art are holds. This art holds true for the culture as whole. It is an Anglo-Celtic Roman culture. This hybrid culture found literary expression in an unmixed languages. 
Although language of the Britannia was now their home, the English took few words from the languages of Roman Britain, such as Avon, D. Silverin, and the Roman word was Vallum and Slave Draca. Adam D. Chatham. The first known English poet is Arthur. King Alfred fought as an unequal in any age in his ability to compose poetry in his native tongue. Adam was the founder of Malmesbury, Stone, and Baron Bedford on Avon, was the star pupil of Hadrian School at Canterbury. This is Canterbury. C A N C E R B U R Y. Canterbury. And became Bishop of Sherborne. His younger contemporary, Dees, wrote that Adam was most learned in all respects for his brilliant style and was remarkable for both sacred and liberal tradition. Adam wrote sermons in verse and a treatise in verse for a convent of nuns on virginity. He also wrote an epistle to his godson, King Alfred of Northumbria, on metrics which is full of riddles and A N D and word games. Beard's Latin work survived in many copies. 36 complete manuscripts of his prose life of Stepford, over 100 of his De Natura Rera. At the end of his Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum B. lists his 90 Latin works. Of his English writings in prose and his works, only five remain. As a session they approached in 735, Beat was dictating a translation of the Gospel of St. John into English, and he finished it on the day he died. Even this pre precious text, T E X T, is lost. Beat is one of the five early English poets whose names are unknown, whose names are known. I'm sorry, known. Adam, Beat, Chapman, Alfred, two saints. A cowman and a king and Cinevo who signed his poem, but is otherwise unknown. Beat is the only English writer mentioned by Dante and the first work and the first whose works have been read in every generation since they were written. Chatman Chapman was the first to use English oral composition to turn sacred story into words. The English life work. Beat presents the calling of this unlearned man to compose the biblical poetry as a miraculous means for bringing the good news to the English. He tells us that Chapman was a farmhand at the Abbey at Whitby, which was presided over by St. Hilda, an old man ignorant of poetry. Northumbria and the Dream of the Rose. Many of the manuscripts which perished in the 1530s in King Henry VIII's destruction of the monasteries may have been in Old English. About 30,000 lines of Old English words survived in four main poetry manuscripts. These were written about the year 1000 but contain earlier materials. Much is lost but three identifiable phases of English literature, old English literature, are the Northumbria of the Age of Bede, the Program of Alfred, and the Benedictine Revival of the late 10th century. The artistic wealth of Northumbria is known to us through Bede, but also through surviving illuminated books such as the Linuxran Gospels and the Codex and the Athenians, such fi some fine churches, crosses, and religious art. The Ruthway Cross is from this period. In 1642, this high cross near Dumfries in Scotland was smashed as adulterous by the order of the General Assembly of Kirk of Scotland. 1823, however, the ministers reassembled and re erected it and now it stands 5.7 meters tall. It was open air cross or road. It follows in deep relief showing scenes from the life of Christ. This longer text in the Versailles book has 156 lines. The Ruthven text, which once ran to about 50 lines, is a great poem. The primo in the poem sees at midnight a glorious cross rise to fill the sky and it has was worshipped by all the creatures. It is covered with gold and jewels, but at other times it was covered with blood.
heroic poetry. Early literature commonly took look back to a heroic age. A period in the past when warriors were more heroic and kings were kings. The Christian heroism of the dream of the root redirected the old pagan heroism which can be seen in fragments of Germanic heroic poetry. Walter and early poem features the heroics of a Walter's defense of a narrow place against his enemies. Since Burr, another poem set on the continent is a vividly dramatic fragment of a fight in Beowulf. So Beowulf is also a poem in Old English literature. Whitsif is another poem where the poet lists the names of the continental tribes and the rulers praising generous patterns. Christian literature. The Christian literature of Anglo-Saxons is of various kinds. There are words paraphrases of Old Testament stories such as Cadman, Genesis and Exodus, Daniel and Judith. They emphasize faith rewarded. There are lives of saints such as Andrew or Helena. There are sermons, wisdom literature and doctrinal materials such as the dream of the root. The New Testament is principally uh, represented in translations and liturgical adaptations. Translation of the Bible into English did not begin in the 14th or the 16th centuries. The Gospels, Psalms, and other books were translated into English throughout the English, Old English period. Parts of several versions remain. The Bible was made known to the laity through the liturgical program of prayers and readings at Mass through the cycle of the Christian year. Cenevolf, an unknown cleric of the 9th century, is the old English poet to sign his poem. The four chief manuscripts are known as the Jamias book, the Edpeter book, the Versailles book and the Beowulf manuscript. Alfred, Alfred the Great. Under Alfred's rule, considerable administrative and military reforms were introduced, prompting lasting change in England. Alfred had a reputation as a learned and a merciful man of a gracious and level-headed nature who encouraged education, proposing that primary education be conducted in English rather than Latin and improving the legal system and military structure and his people's quality of life. He was given the epithet the great in the 16th century. Beowulf Beowulf is an old English epic poem in the tradition of Germanic heroic legend consisting of 3,182 alliterative lines. It is one of the most important and most often translated works of English literature. The story is set in pagan Scandinavia in the 6th century. Beowulf, a hero of the Geats, comes to the aid of Rodger, the king of the Danes, whose need all in horror has been under attack by, by the monster Grendel. After Beowulf slays him, Grendel's mother attacks the hall and is then defeated. Victorious Beowulf goes home to Geatland and becomes king of the Geats. Fifty years later, Beowulf defeats a dragon but is mortally wounded in the battle. After his death, his attendants cremate his body and erect a tower on a headland in his memory. Energy In English literature, the more modern and restricted meaning of a lament for the departed, beloved, or tragic event has been currently only since the 15th century, the broader concept was still employed by John Donne for his elegy. Written in the early 17th century, the inclusive concept is especially evident in the Old English Exeter book, which contains serious meditative and well-known poems such as the Wandra, the Seafarer, and the Wild Women, in whose elegies the narrators use the lyrical eye to describe their own personal and mournful experiences they tell the story of the individual rather than the collective lore of his or her people as epic poetry seeks to tell. By the time of Samuel Carrier Corbett, another the term had come to mean serious meditative poem. So,
now uh, our lecture has ended so in old english literature there uh, you know it started from anglo saxons so they were the people who ruled that area together and uh, king alfred the great is of quite uh, much importance in the history of old english literature because uh, he initiated the program of english language learning he wanted everybody to learn not just the uh, the church because in olden times uh, it was uh, knowledge was all belong all a uh, possession which belonged to the church common man did not know how to read or how to write so church pope brothers and they were the people who had all the knowledge but alfred wanted the common man to have a common sense you know he wanted every man to be literate and he initiated that uh, program where uh, the knowledge from latin language was to be converted was to be translated to english language you know old english english language we cannot uh, read it that much easily at this era because it is totally ununderstandable it's so much difficult for us to understand and uh, so it was all about today's lecture thank you so much for watching like share and subscribe in order to watch more and more important knowledgeable videos so goodbye take care